All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at the key stash mine in Pocket Mine. And if you're unaware, the key stash mine can be accessed by paying one ruby. And once you're inside the mine, you have a very high chance of getting keys dropped from crates. Now, before we actually go into the mine, let's take a look at the standard key rate if we were to just buy them. And as you see, we have an option to buy 50 keys for 10 rubies. Now, that equates to five keys per ruby for the standard rate. Now, that's if we're just buying them outright from the store. So, if the key stash mine is available and we decide to play that for one ruby, I thought it would be interesting to see what kind of key payout we get by taking the time to play this mine. So, I'm going to be choosing a deck that boosts the amount of crates that appear and also boosts the amount of artifacts that jumps out of the crates and I also have a grenade booster card equipped. And as you can see, I also have the Demolition Dan character in use. So, at the end of the level, we're going to take a look at how many keys I got from playing this level. And I'm going to speed it up because it actually takes quite a bit of time. And then we're going to take a look at the keys and actually see if it's worth our time to uh, pay the ruby and get into this mine. Now, about five minutes passed, and I'm just going to skip right to the end here. We've got 18 picks left, and... It would have taken quite a while if we just watched the whole thing and it would have been pretty boring. So, as you can see, those crates are dropping keys and that's basically the whole premise of the level. We also have some nice health crates there. Another artifact. And our last hit didn't crack anything, but I'm pretty sure we got quite a few keys. Now, as you'll notice at this mission payout screen, I completed the bonus mission, which gave me a bonus three keys. So we're going to be subtracting three keys from our total key amount because you're not going to get the bonus every time you play the level. So 28 keys minus three gives us 25 keys per ruby. Now that's a crazy good payout, five times better than the standard rate. And I went through the level and played it with the greedy goblin character and a kind of basic set of cards and I still got 15 keys per ruby. And even that is three times better than the standard ruby buy rate. So, my verdict for Key Stash, definitely play it whenever it's available. You will save a lot of time and a lot of money by playing it. Now, if you're into getting a bunch of keys in Pocket Mine, you're probably into unlocking chests as well. And I recently made a video where I unlocked 50 rainbow chests at once, and you can watch that by clicking the image in the center of the screen, and there will also be a link in the description of this video. If you'd like to see more Pocket Mine content and are interested in other video game news, reviews, and deals, you may like PressingX.com, a gaming website that I've been working on. So, thanks for your time, and have a great day.